With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello friends, the question here is two objects of masses M1 and M2 having the same size are dropped simultaneously from heights H1 and H2 respectively. Find out the ratio of time they would take in reaching the ground. Will this ratio remain the same if one of the object is hollow and the other one is solid and secondly both of them are hollow, size remaining the same in each case. Give reasons. So here in this question we are given that the two objects they have masses m1 and m2 right so let us write the masses mass of the two objects are m1 and m2 next is that they are falling from the heights h1 so height is given to us as h1 and h2 now from second equation of motion we know s <coughs> is equal to ut plus half at square but here what we have is the two objects of m1 and m2 they have same size they are dropped simultaneously so now they are dropped so that means the initial velocity u will be zero we can take this as the distance as height h and this is a free falling case so a will become g that is acceleration due to gravity let us place these values here now <coughs> it will be s will be h is equal to u is 0 so 0 into t will become 0 so this term is gone we are only left with plus half a t square this will become half g t square where t is the time taken now this g t square half g t square so from this we can write 2 h is equal to g t square again this will give us t is equal to 2 h upon g and this is t square hence we put under root here so we have got t is equal to under root 2 into h upon g now we have different masses and different heights for so time taken 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 by the first object by first object that will be we will place h1 here so t1 is equal to under root 2 h1 upon g is same right now for the second one it will it will be time taken taken by second object will be t2 is equal to under root 2 h2 upon g now we have t1 and t2 now that we see t1 upon t2 will be equal to placing these values under root 2 h1 upon g upon under root 2 h2 upon g this will be equal to t1 upon t2 will be equal to all gets cancelled only under root h1 upon h2 will be left so we see t1 upon t2 the ratio of the time taken will be under root h1 upon h2 <coughs> after this they had asked us what will this ratio remain the same if one of the object is hollow and the other one is solid so we see acceleration due to gravity it is independent of mass of falling body so we see the ratio will remain the same let us write this here we know the first case g is equal to g into m upon r square so we know this acceleration due to gravity is independent independent of the mass of falling body why because this m here is the mass 
of earth hence it is hence it is independent independent of m1 or m2 hence hence the ratio the ratio of time taken time taken will be same right next case in the next case it is given to us the question is both of them are hollow and size remaining the same so if bodies are hollow if the bodies are hollow then also the ratio will remain ratio will remain same right that is t1 upon t2 will be equal to under root h1 upon h2 hope you understood this for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today